Hi everybody, welcome to my kitchen. Okay, as promised, I had talked about a banana ice cream recipe that I make. And I'm just gonna first go through what you'll need to make it. And um, then we'll just go from there. It's gonna be lots of fun. So hang tight. And this is a, a banana ice cream that has absolutely no trans fats in it, no preservatives, uh, no added sugars, nothing. This is just clean, wholesome banana ice cream. You're gonna love it, I promise. Okay, what you're gonna need is some frozen bananas. And what I do is I just take my bananas and I slice them into thin pieces and I put them in the freezer overnight. You can leave them in there for longer. Now, uh, I, I need to say this though, when you are freezing your bananas, your bananas should be spotted and speckled, but they should not be black like that. If you use a black banana, you're going to get watery ice cream. If you use a banana that is just starting to get brown spots on it, this one's even maybe a little bit too much, just some brown spots on it. It's still firm. That's the banana you want to use for freezing for your ice cream. So, um, and I usually freeze just about six or seven bananas and then I take out enough to make either two servings, one for Lou and me if he wants it with me, or I'll just use like two bananas for myself because remember, it's fat-free, low calories, and very also nutritional for you, okay? Okay. All right, so you'll need the frozen bananas, and guess what? That's it. Frozen bananas, a food processor. Now, I have a very good food processor because, again, I use it a lot. Uh, if you have a food processor that is smaller, make sure that you don't overstuff it with bananas, okay? So now, here's another thing that I do for my bananas. You do not have to do this, though. So I've put my bananas in here. I've started it up a little bit because it's a little loud when you first start your bananas. And hold on to your machine when you're doing it at first because it will rock. Okay, so here's the next thing I do. I take a vanilla bean and I split it down the center and I take out all the yummy vanilla beans and I will just put it in with the bananas just to give it a little bit of flavor. However, you do not need to do this. I just like to um, because I'm just that kind of gal. Hang on one second, please. Okay, I just needed to get a napkin because the old nose is ripping because, you know, well, I'm drippy Tammy. Okay, so now, I'm, I also have some raspberries here. I have some fresh blueberries here. I have some fresh strawberries here. They are all organic and washed. And then I have a little, uh, a couple of uh, walnuts and I have a little bit of coconut. Now you will not need any of this if you just want plain banana ice cream. That's all you'll need. Okay, so now what I've done is I've taken my bananas and I've put them inside of my food processor with the blade. Then I just start it up. Now I'm going to run it. It will be a little loud, but not as loud. It takes about two minutes for the bananas to actually become uh, a very soft serve ice cream, but you want to watch it because you don't want it to go too far, okay? So I'm just going to turn it on. Now I put the vanilla beans in there for the edit. Oh, and here's another thing because I know I'm going to get this question. Can I use vanilla extract? Some have been known to spontaneously combust when they try to use vanilla extract. You cannot use vanilla extract because you cannot add liquid to this. It will make it so it doesn't turn out. So you either eliminate the vanilla bean or buy a vanilla bean. I buy my vanilla beans bulk. I will share that with you in uh, a video on things that I buy bulk to save money, okay? So, but for right now, we're just going to get going because we don't want my bananas to melt too much so they don't make ice cream. So I'm going to turn it on. And what you'll see here is you'll see that it starts to like get clumpy in one area. And then you'll notice that it'll start to lop around. It's getting almost done at that point. So you will have to open it up from time to time. See, now mine is starting to get clumpy, but I have to open it up now. So I'm going to stop it. I'm going to open it up, and I'm just going to take a spoon, and I'm going to push the bananas all down so that they're flat and up against the blade, okay? So, and make sure that you have your machine off when you do this. Most of them won't start once you take the top off, so. Okay, so now I've pushed them all down. Make sure it's locked into place. Turn it back on. Watch it carefully at this point because this is when it becomes soft serve and that's when you want to stop it. So if you can see, it is starting to lob around. It's almost done, okay? So once that lob gets smaller and smaller, that means it's soft serve. Okay, so I'm gonna check it now because it looks like it's pretty darn smooth to me. 
So I'll turn it off and I'm going to make sure that all the bananas, see now there's a couple of bananas that need to be pushed down. You don't want lumpy, lumpy soft serve, folks. Lumpy soft serve is no good. We want it creamy, smooth, delectable. Okay, so we push it all down. And I can see all my beautiful speckles of the vanilla bean in there. Now this should be the last time I have to spin it around, okay? Oh yeah, see how it's moving like a freight train now. It's going like crazy, folks. It's going like crazy, Miss Tammy. Okay, so this is now beautiful, beautiful soft serve. And I'm going to stop it and just make sure that there are no lumps in it. By just pushing down, beautiful. It's perfect. This is the consistency that you want. If you look in there, you see how it's beautiful, creamy, and it's still thick. That's what you want. Okay, so now I'm going to take a beautiful uh, goblet wine glass because, you know, when I eat, I like to make it pretty, and it has to taste good. has to. If it doesn't taste good, Miss Demi, no waste their time. Okay, so I'm going to take some of the ice cream, and you'll see when I'm taking it out. See? It's just like soft serve. I'm going to put it in my glass, and I'm going to layer it. And I don't worry about the calories with this because, as I said, I'm very active and I burn my calories off. And because this is wholesome food and very good, you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so I put a layer in the bottom of the glass. Now I'm going to take some of my strawberries. These are already washed and cleaned, and I'm just going to slice them in and put a layer of strawberries in there. And I'll put a couple of blueberries in there. Oh, it's going to be so good. I love it. Put a couple of raspberries and then I'm going to go back in. I'm going to take out some more of these soft serve and I'm going to layer it over that. You could fool your guests. They will think that you bought this ice cream and it was just so perfect. You had to serve it to them. They will not know they are eating healthy. I love to trick people into eating healthy foods. So I'm going to smash that down into a beautiful layer. And now I'm going to add another strawberry layer to the ice cream. I'm going to put some beautiful, beautiful blueberries on top there, layer it, my raspberries, and then I'm just going to top it off with a little dollop. And I have just enough left to do this. Oh, I get so excited when my banana ice cream is almost done. I'm just going to put a little blob on the top. Now, if you want, you can add some sprinkled coconut, and my coconut is unsweetened coconut. It's in its natural uh, state. I don't want any sugar added to my beautiful dessert at all, okay? So I'm just going to put a couple of sprinkles, and don't worry about the fat in coconut because it's not true that coconut is bad for you. It's a medium chain fatty acid, and it's very actually very good for lowering cholesterol. Then I'm going to just take a walnut, and I'm just going to smash it up on top and sprinkle it on top. And look what I have, people. I have the most beautiful banana ice cream that anybody would want to eat. So I'm going to take a little taste of my beautiful ice cream because, you know, Rachel Way does it, uh, Jada does it, so I'm going to do it. Okay, so now in this bite I have some beautiful blueberries, some walnuts, and my banana ice cream. Mmm, so good. Just like Mr. Food would say, it's so good. I'm telling you, you're, you're looking at about probably just under 200 calories for this. A banana has um, 110 calories to it. I used about a banana and a half, maybe just about two bananas. So I'm talking maybe, um, I'd say maybe 220 calories. A beautiful, wholesome, no fat, no partially hydronated oils, nothing but pure goodness in this dessert for you. And I have one of these almost every night after dinner. Uh, sometimes I will have this for breakfast because who says you can't have ice cream for breakfast? Not me. Miss Tammy says you have whatever makes your heart happy. And uh, I will put all of the information for this below. Uh, let me just show you a couple of things. I did use all organic strawberries. Uh, I used the organic blueberries and raspberries. All these beautiful fruits are coming this season now, so it's fantastic to use. As far as coconut, because people say, well, where do you get 
you know, unsweetened coconut. I always just see the stuff that's in with the baking. You have to go into the health food department uh, section of your grocery store or a health food store. Uh, I have two different brands. This one I buy locally in a store, and this is Bob's Red Mill Flaked Coconut Unsweetened. Uh, this one is a little bit thicker. It's like shaved coconut, and sometimes I will sprinkle that on there. The other one that I use, now this one I order online, and I order tubs of it because I do make uh, macaroons uh, out of the coconut, another recipe I may share with you. But anyway, this is by Tropical Traditions. I also order my extra virgin uh, coconut oil from them, and they're online that you can get it. But this is a huge tub, and this is shredded coconut, so it's really, really fine and thin. Mm, it smells fabulous, but don't order a tub like this if you're not going to use it all the time and make beautiful things with it because it will, they do have a life, uh, shelf life to them. But anyway, getting back to our delectable dessert, which I'm sure you're all drooling over right now, and if I, you could all come to Miss Tammy's house and I would make it for you all. But anyway, that's my banana sundae with fresh fruits and walnuts, all healthy goodness. Mmm. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. It's an anti-ager. Love you guys. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Or a week. I'm not sure when I put this up, but you know. Crazy Miss Tammy's got to cover all her, her uh, at grants. You know. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about now. But anyway, I love you guys. Bye-bye.